drunk you sad like making big mistakes i feel like for the first time in a long time i am not afraid i feel like a kid never thought it feel like this like when i close my eyes
Science High School, Calabarzon Region Campuses, Toast to Excellence 2021, themed Championing Excellence and Tenacity in Braving the Changing Times. We are dedicating this day to the celebration of our students' perseverance and successes and the recognition of their exemplary academic performance for the school year 2020 to 2021. I am Sunshine Blanco, your host for today. Before we proceed, I would like to invite you all to join us in singing the Philippine National Anthem. It will be followed by a short prayer and the DOS. Dear Heavenly Father, we are here today to celebrate success. In a world full of chaos and calamity, we are embracing a moment of triumph in your name and for your glory. We are aware that we would not see this success come to fruition without the individual purpose you have put in each of us today. Thank you for bringing us together to accomplish this great feat for your glory, though the odds were stacked against us, as they often are. Guard our hearts from pride and selfish gain as we celebrate today. Let it fuel our faith in you as our provider and our sustainer. Feeler of our hearts, may all glory for our achievements go up to you today and always. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
Surely, we all miss our campus. While we wait for the opportunity to go back, let's all watch this ADP featuring our campus's physical facilities and services and remember together our beloved Pisay, where we raise intelligent and socially responsible scholars who share our vision to serve the nation.
Construction Division Chief of the Philippine Science High School Calabarzon Region Campus, Mr. Joni M. Albanico, for his opening remarks. To the campus management community, fellow members of the faculty and staff, students, parents, and other stakeholders, esteemed guests, greetings of success. The worldwide pandemic has forced all social institutions to shift its delivery of services to the people. The academic community was not spared for this shift. We thought that we would pass through this health crisis in a couple of months and everything else will go to the usual rhythm. But the score has a lot of crisis and drops, not only in the figures of active cases and recoveries, but also our real experiences with the pandemic. Our shift to distance learning was not easy. There were bombs and resistance in the start. On the part of the teachers, some things need to be unlearned to accommodate the demands of the new mode of instruction and behavior. This is to ensure that no student will be left behind. We also acknowledge the struggles that our students went through. The social aspect of learning was somehow compromised to prioritize safety against the lingering damaging effects of the pandemic. The school administration also exhausted all possible means to ensure that all students and teachers will receive the appropriate support services while distance learning activities are still in effect. Through the concerted efforts and support of other stakeholders, such as parents and other relevant parties, we were able to augment the first few gaps and needs. Today is not only a celebration of our students' triumphs in breaking the challenges of distance learning during the school year, more importantly, we shall also recognize our ability to gradually drop the huge challenges of our shift to distance learning. The men and women who toil to make the implementation of distance learning possible. Above our pursuit of excellence is our indomitable spirit, the rise of the crisis, our ability to pick up the lashes against life's adversities without dramatizing our resilience. We hope that the tenacity we have developed amidst the prevalence of the world health crisis will continue to prosper, especially at the time when the world is come down to its usual rhythm. Foster resilience can better be a continuous pursuit of growth, excellence, and service. This will ensure a more meaningful offering of our gifts to the nation and our fellow country, and most importantly, to the risk of our existence. Again, I warmly welcome you. Cheers. Thank you, Sir Joni. And now to introduce the guest speaker for today, let's welcome the campus director of the Cycle of Arizona, Dr. Jose Andaga. And welcome to our annual recognition program. Please allow me to formally introduce our guest speaker for this morning. Our invited speaker received his medical degree from the University of the Philippines College of Medicine. He trained in internal medicine at the Medical College of Wisconsin in Mulwaki and did his fellowship in infectious diseases and tropical medicine at the Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland. He returned in 2008 as a ballistic scientist of the Department of Science and Technology. He is currently the director of the Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at the National Institute of Health and is an Associate Professor of Medicine at the Philippine General Hospital. He is also a young faculty for Global Health at the University of Pittsburgh. Among his many awards are the Outstanding Young Scientist from the National Academy of Science and Technology, the Outstanding Young Men Philippines Award, for his work in HIV, and the 10 Outstanding Young Persons of the World Award from JCI International. He was chosen as a Fed Fellow in 2017 and spoke about global implications of the HIV epidemic in the Philippines in his Fed Talk. He was recently awarded a Senior Fed Fellowship in recognition of his work in restoring Bucks and Confidence and improving science communication to the public. He writes a weekly column entitled Clinical Matters for the Manila Bulletin, which offers scientific perspectives on the COVID-19 pandemic. 
He also advises the Philippine government COVID-19 response. As a member of the Technical Advisory Group of the Department of Health and the IAEF. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming our guest of honor and speaker, the Prior of Philippine Science High School Main Campus Batch 1992, Dr. Elsa Maurice Tangal Salana. Director Andaya, esteemed teachers, parents, and students, good morning. When I received an invitation for this recognition program, I was neck deep in the pandemic response and had a million things on my plate. But when I saw it was from the Director Andaya, who was my teacher so many years ago in Visay, I said yes. This should give you an idea of the importance of the relationships that you form in high school. As you go on to bigger things in college, your time in high school will be fondly remembered as a watershed, a transition between two phases in your life. High school is a time when things are simpler, but not simple. It is a time when you become aware of the bigger problems and pleasures in life, when you become attracted to other people, and you are, when you are finally are legally able to open your Facebook and Twitter account. Some of the friendships you have formed here will be there for the rest of your lives. My best friend in high school, who is now a sports medicine physician in the United States and also a U.S. Olympic team doctor, keeps in touch regularly. I'm sure that even without Facebook, we'd be in touch. And whenever we meet from time to time, it's always a great pleasure to go back to those times in high school when we talked about how we were going to change the world and why we liked or didn't like this girl. High school is when you become more aware of the bigger picture and your experiences and friendships that you made will sustain you through the challenges ahead. We will be celebrating our 30th anniversary next year, and while it is wonderful to see classmates who have become quite successful, it is really just icing on the cake, because the shared struggles and triumphs we went through together in high school already formed a permanent bond. One of the most talked about things in medicine is stem cells. Stem cells are cells in the body which can differentiate into any other cell type. Why are they so important? It's because stem cells can be used to repair and regenerate damaged tissues and organs which were previously thought to be irreparable. Stem cells are also thought to be able to reverse the aging process, and some scientists are hard at work in determining how many people produce more stem cells in order to combat diseases that are a result of everyday wear and tear of life. In high school, especially with your STEM designation, you are the stem cells of the human race. This is the point in your lives when you can use everything you have learned and you can differentiate into productive members of society. This is when you start to find your niche in the world. Without you, there will be no future. The process of differentiation will be exciting, but it can also be painful. As you look for your place in life, understand that the decisions you make on a daily basis will determine your path and the path of our nation and the path of the world. So let me offer a few things I have learned in my journey to give you an idea of what that journey is like and to give you an idea of how exciting the journey will be. When I graduated from Philippine Science High School in 1992, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I was sure what I didn't want to do. No engineering, architecture, mathematics, or economics for me. I qualified for the intermed program, but I wasn't sure I wanted to be a doctor. I decided finally on biology because I wanted to be a scientist ever since I was a child, and it kept my options open to go to medicine. Now, this may seem like a waste of time since I ended up being a doctor anyway, but two life-changing things happened to me when I was in UP Diliman doing BS Biology. The first is that I met my future wife. Since she was my blockmate in biology, I would never have met her if I hadn't gone to biology. The second is that I met my future father-in-law, who happened to be a national scientist and Ramon Magsaysay awardee, Dr. Ernesto Domingo, who happened to be a medical doctor and scientist. In other words, I found that I could have my cake and eat it too, be a medical doctor and a scientist. In medicine, 
I learned that no matter how good you are, even if you are a summa cum laude who has a flat one for a GPA, there are things that you cannot control. A patient will die if it is time, and an encyclopedic knowledge of medicine will not prevent his death if it is time. I learned to respect the decisions people make, even if these are scientifically bad decisions because people have a right to determine what treatment and medications they will accept. I learned the value of teamwork because everyone from the medical student to the nurse to the resident and to the attending physician has a crucial role to play in the care of a patient. These lessons were further brought home during residency and fellowship training in the United States. Perhaps one of the best things I learned in the United States is the concept of no boundaries. I do not mean personal space or anything like that. Those are important. I mean the concept that your potential is limitless, just like stem cells. Some of the people who wrote the books and did the pioneering research were my teachers, and I found them to be human beings just like you and me. So there is really no reason why you cannot achieve their level of greatness or even surpass them. Or have these guys as good friends and mentors. When I came back as a Balik scientist, I found that what I thought was going to be my life's work, tropical diseases, had to be set aside due to a more urgent problem. The HIV epidemic was on the rise and very young people were dying of this disease from all walks of life. Then the COVID-19 pandemic came and I had to shift gears again. As an infectious disease specialist and a molecular biologist, I have been fortunate to have a skill set that is useful to the country for fighting the pandemic. We say among infectious disease doctors, the next pandemic is just around the corner. We have spent our whole lives training for it, but praying it would never come. While COVID-19 is certainly the most serious, we have actually lived through three pandemics in the last 40 years. The HIV pandemic is still ongoing, and it has already killed 35 million people. The AH1N1 pandemic in 2009 didn't turn out as serious as the current one, but we learned a lot from it. Serendipitously, I have worked on all three pandemics now and have made some contributions to our understanding of our local pandemics. My work in HIV dealt with the emerging field of molecular epidemiology. And so even before most people had heard of SARS-CoV-2 variants, we were already doing whole genome sequencing of HIV variants, we call them subtypes, in our laboratory. Our HIV sequencing work revealed that a switch in subtype of HIV in the Philippines from subtype B to CRF0180 was driving a surge in cases and also an increase in drug resistance. Our work in AH1N1 in 2009 did hundreds of sequences of the virus, detecting some of the first instances of oseltamivir resistance in the Philippines and contributing significantly to the genomic repository of influenza. When COVID-19 emerged and there was a call for molecular laboratories to help out with testing, ours in the NIH was among the first to respond. We dropped everything and we repurposed our BSL-3 laboratory to become the first COVID-19 testing laboratory outside the Department of Health subnational laboratories. When the first variants of COVID-19 emerged, we were among the first laboratories to sequence and analyze these, and we were one of the few research laboratories with any experience in viral genomic sequencing and deep sequencing. Let's not forget the immense contribution of my good buddy, infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Raul Destura, who recruited me into NIH and developed the very first Filipino COVID-19 detection kit. The investment of the Filipino people in our research at NIH from the previous pandemics really paid off for this one. I was drafted into the COVID-19 national response last February, 2020. It was still called NCOV, Novel Coronavirus, and it was still a Public Health Emergency of International Concern, PHEIC, and not yet a pandemic. The Department of Health assembled a group of infectious diseases and public health experts as the Technical Advisory Group, or the TAG. 
Among these were two other infectious disease specialists, Dr. Anna Ong Lim and Dr. Marisa Alejandria, who is the current president of the Philippine Society for Microbiology and Infectious Disease. We were tasked to advise the Department of Health and the IATF on the technical aspects of COVID-19. Our first few meetings were at the Department of Health compound and mostly had to do with testing protocols and preparing for further cases of COVID-19 after we had the first three imported Chinese cases in January. We were involved in decisions such as which countries we would ban flights from and how to get more testing capacity. The entire February 2020 did not see any new cases of COVID-19, but there were more and more PUIs, persons under investigation, as well as returning OFWs who were being quarantined. There was cautious optimism even as the WHO commended the Philippines on containing its first wave of cases. Come March, this optimism was shattered when two new COVID-19 patients were diagnosed. Patient 4 had a history of travel to Japan but it was patient number five that was the most concerning. Patient number five had no history of travel or exposure to a COVID-19 positive case. In retrospect, whole genome sequencing revealed that those cases represented a new introduction of COVID-19 most closely related to a circulating Southeast Asian variant, B6. For those of us who worked so hard to prevent entry of viruses coming from China, even as we were learning how to properly don and doff our PPE, those efforts did pay off. Unfortunately, the virus came in from another country. As more cases started to come in, the TAG was increasingly worried that community transmission had been established. In marathon discussions with different government agencies and the World Health Organization, we saw that there was only one way to ensure that the most number of people would survive. Having seen China, Italy, and Spain crushed under a wave of infections, we knew something drastic had to be done. We were going to recommend a lockdown. March 12, 2020, we were invited to Camp Aguinaldo to meet for the first time with the IATF. After the Department of Health uh, Secretary presented, there was a spirited discussion on whether we had enough to go by to lock down. After all, we only had 52 cases, and it seemed inconceivable that we were going to pretty much shut down the economy because of a minuscule number of cases. In a push to convince the IATF, I asked to speak. Drawing on my TED training and everything I had learned in years of interacting with media and giving presentations, I made our case. I started with a well-known line. Every disaster movie begins with everyone ignoring the scientist. I am a scientist. Please listen to what I have to say. And they listen. The IATF endorsed the TAG's recommendation for presentation to the president in Malacanang that evening. Coincidentally, I was also asked to brief the vice president in Quezon City that afternoon which I gladly did, as part of the whole of government approach. I then proceeded to Malacanang, where there was an intense discussion with the president eventually electing to proceed with the lockdown. We now know that that, that early lockdown saved tens of thousands of lives. Compared to Mexico, which locked down a mere 10 days after us, the decisive shutdown just barely preserved our healthcare system. A few days delay would have been catastrophic. The first few days of the lockdown were met with confusion and a lot of people were still roaming the streets. As cases of COVID-19 continued to rise, public transport was suspended and that's when the streets of Metro Manila became deserted. Hospitals started reporting more and more cases and more people died. We were all scared. There were shortages of PPE, testing kits, and many of us got sick. Amid the fear and uncertainty, there was also a lot of solidarity. People sent food and PPE to emergency rooms. Transport was arranged for stranded healthcare workers. Businesses did their best to keep their workers employed and shared what they could with the community. 
Amid all this, I continued my practice. Unfortunately, I was exposed to two cases of COVID-19. Both were among the earliest fatalities. A few days later, I felt a tickle in my throat and I had the worst scare of my life. I had myself admitted to the hospital and waited seven excruciating days for my swab results. It was the longest seven days of my life, during which I continued to attend meetings virtually and fielded queries from patients and colleagues. When I got my negative result back, I elected to go home and isolate for a few more days. My nine-year-old daughter would slip notes under my door, which really lifted my spirits. I continued to work with the IATF and DOH as part of the tag. There were many controversies, including the issue with mass testing and the use of rapid antibody tests. Despite strong pressure from many sectors, we stood firm on what constituted appropriate use for rapid antibody tests. We were eventually proven right that this was a waste of resources and that it gave a false sense of security. As we cautiously opened up in June 2020, we continued to have challenges in testing, and that was when the second surge occurred. Little did we know that the first of the variants had entered. B1, which was B, which has the D614 mutation, which makes COVID three to nine times more contagious. In retrospect, drove our June surge, coupled with further opening up. Once again, our hospitals were nearly overrun and our healthcare workers called for a timeout, which was granted by the government. Thankfully, cases began to go down and we were able to open up again. In December, we were anticipating a big surge due to increased mobility, but fortunately, it did not. It seemed that our people had learned to live with the virus, properly using face masks and face shields and keeping proper distance. This was the time when our positivity rate went below 5%, the WHO ideal for adequate testing in a country. So it isn't really true that we have never had true mass testing. We achieved this in December, and we hope to achieve it again as the cases continue to decrease. With the emergence of the Alpha variant, also known as B.1.2, Seven, B.1.1.7, or the variant from the UK, on the advice of the technical adversary group, the president banned travel from countries where the variant had been detected. He also directed the IATF to form the Technical Working Group on COVID-19 Variants, which included the Department of Health, the OST, the TAG, RITM, UP and IH, the Philippine Genome Center, and Epimetrics. The TWG, along with the Department of Health Epidemiology Bureau, was able to detect the first instance of the Alpha variant locally in early January 2021. Whole genome sequencing by the PGC has detected, had detected the variant in record time, enough to properly trace the contacts of the traveler and prevent further spread to the community. Even though it eventually becomes impossible to completely catch all cases coming in, the detection bought us time to prepare. The Philippine Genome Center also subsequently detected beta, or the South African variant known as B.1.351, and gamma, B.1, or the Brazil variant. Along the way, our group discovered theta, or P3, which was first described in Central Visayas, which is currently a variant of interest, not a variant of concern, that has now made its way to other countries, but fortunately seems to be tapering off locally. This is the publication, preprint of the publication that has now been accepted, uh, that describes first the P3 variant or theta. As we continued to open up in March, the various medical groups began to sound the alarm on increasing number of cases and admissions to the hospitals. Coupled with the eventual spread of variants, this contributed to the unprecedented surge in NCR, which again necessitated the drastic lockdown to preserve the healthcare system. As horrific as the surge was, it paled in comparison to what was happening in India and served as a warning that the worst may yet 
be yet to come if the variants continue to spread. In the meantime, the vaccines had started to arrive, but reminiscent of the Dengvaxia fiasco, vaccines were once again under attack. As doctors, we know that all properly approved vaccines are safe and effective. We know that in an emergency, the best vaccine is the one in your arm. Unfortunately, many unscientific issues were hurled at the vaccines and the doctors, and the anti-vaxxers came out in full force. Amid all these doubts, I knew all our vaccines were good to go. I very gladly became the second person in the country to legally receive the COVID-19 vaccine after the Philippine General Hospital Director, Dr. Gaplegasti. I have no regrets. I have not gotten sick, um, and I feel protected uh, against uh, COVID-19 and the variants. Last month, on top of my usual duties with the Technical Advisory Group, the NITAD, the Lab Experts Panel, the Technical Working Group for Variants, and as Director of the Institute of Microbiology and Biotechnology at the NIH, I ended up taking care of the first cases of Delta, also known as the Indian variant, in the Philippines. What I saw really scared me. It is a more contagious and potentially deadlier form of COVID-19. For now, there are no local cases. These are all in returning travelers and our quarantine restrictions seem to be working. Currently, Delta is already sweeping the United Kingdom and there are indications that even partially vaccinated individuals are not well protected. We have, prevented the, we have to prevent the entry of Delta at all costs. In the meantime, despite all the noise, we haven't done too badly. So that's my journey from Pisay to an unexpected place, not just doing research and laboratory work, but also being in a position where my advice is listened to by the leaders of our country. It is a huge responsibility because people can die if I screw up, but I am comforted by the fact that what I learned from Pisay will guide me in the choices I make. Pisay teaches us to always follow the science because if we follow the science, then we will find the unvarnished truth. I hope you do the same as you go forth into the rest of your life. And I look forward to seeing you again when this pandemic is over. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. Edsel Silvana, for your insightful and inspiring message. To show our gratitude for your time and virtual presence, we would like to present this plaque that reads. This certificate of recognition is awarded to Dr. Edsel Marie Silvana, for sharing his wisdom and esteemed aspirations as guest of honor and speaker during the Toast to Excellence 2021, a virtual recognition day. Themed Championing Excellence and Tenacity in Braving the Changing Times, held on July 6, 2021 at Philippine Science High School, Calabarzon Region Campus, Sitio Sampaga West, Barangay Sampaga, Batanga City. Signed, Dr. Jose M. Andaya, Campus Director. Before I present the special awards, let's welcome Ms. Joanna Escalero of Night Garden for an intermission.
very much, Joanna, for sharing your talent on this special day. At this juncture, we'll proceed to the presentation of the special awards. It will be followed by the presentation of the director's list. The James Dyson Foundation is Dyson's charity with a threefold mission to support engineering education, medical research, and the local community. Given the Foundation's strong support for engineering and the wider STEM education, it provided recognition to campus awardees who have exemplified the Dyson value of working, authentic, pioneering, and different. These awardees not only excelled academically, but also have outstanding records in academics in the practical STEM applications. James Dyson Foundation STEM Excellence Awardees Jam Omar Biscocho Rowan Philip Guia Maria Sofia Isabel Lassi Tana Jelana Sullivan Marielle Orea Villafranca Academic Competition Winners Grade 7 Sofia D. Aguito Silver Award Asian Science and Math Olympiad 2020 Science Yuan Miguel Bendo, Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad, Math State Round. Gold Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad, 2020. Gold Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad, 2020, Final Round. Silver Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad, 2021, Heat Round. Bronze Award, 2020, Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad. Heat Rounds Gold Award 2020 International Mathematics Open for Young Achievers Gold Award and Perfect Scorer 2020 Crest Math Olympiad Gold Award International Mathematics Wizard Challenge Top 22 Qualifier Calabarzon 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad Bronze Award Philippine International Math and Science Olympics 2021 National Round Silver Award World International Mathematical Olympiad Gold Award 2021 Philippine International Math Olympiad Bronze Award Challenge for the Future Mathematicians Aidan Jamail Bersilia Silver Award Asian Science and Math Olympiads for Primary and Secondary Schools Mathematics Division Bronze Award Mathematics Without Borders Autumn Round Silver Award 2020 International Mathematics Open for Young Achievers Bronze Award International Mathematics Wizard Challenge 2020 Silver Award Mathematics Without Borders Winter Round Silver Award 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest Gold Award 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad Silver Award Challenge for the Future Mathematicians Silver Award Mathematics Without Borders Spring Round Silver Award Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round Audrey Marielle Bergantinos Bronze Award 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest Sky N. Cartano Bronze Award International Mathematics Wizard Challenge 2020 Franz Joel Castillo Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest Ruben Joseph R. Felix Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad Math State Round Gold Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad 2020 Gold Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad for Primary and Secondary Schools Math Division Gold Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round Gold Award, Mathematics Without Borders, Autumn Round. Gold Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad, Heat Rounds. Silver Award, Hong Kong International Science Olympiad. Bronze Award, International Mathematics Wizard Challenge 2020. Gold Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad, Heat Rounds. Silver Award, Mathematics Without Borders, Winter Round. Credit, International Mathematics Assessment for Schools 2021 Gold Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Gold Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest 
Gold Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Gold Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Final Round. Bronze Award, Challenge for the Future Mathematicians. Silver Award, Mathematics Without Borders Spring Round. Silver Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round. Gold Award, Singapore and Asian Schools Math Olympiad 2021. Gold Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Final Round. Gold Award, Asian Science and Maths Olympiad 2020 Science State Round. Gold Award, Asian Science and Maths Olympiad 2020 Science National Round. Best Philippine Team, Asian Science and Math Olympiad 2020, Science International Round. Kairos Noah Ginto, Bronze Award, Asian Math and Science Olympiad, State Round. Bronze Award, 2020 International Mathematics Open for Young Achievers. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders International Tournament Winter 2021. Bronze Award, International Talent Mathematics Competition. Bronze Award, Challenge for the Future Mathematicians. Bronze Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round. Aaron Noel Hernandez, Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad for Primary and Secondary Schools Mathematics Division. Princess Erika Marasiga, Bronze Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Bronze Award, Philippine International Math and Science Olympics 2021 National Round. Silver Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Bronze Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Final Round. Gold Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round. Silver Award, International Science and Invention Fair 2020. Kevin Gabriel Mercado, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Bronze Award, Singapore and Asian Schools Math Olympiad 2021. John Rain Rairata, Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad for Primary and Secondary Schools Mathematics Division. Samantha Grace and Dan. Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Gadriel Simone Delangin, Silver Award, Sipnayan 2020. Gold Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad, Math State Round. Bronze Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad, Math National Round. Silver Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad 2020. Bronze Award, 7th Iranian Geometry Olympiad. Gold Award, American Mathematics Contest A. High Distinction, International Mathematics Assessment for Schools 2021. Bronze Award, International Talent Mathematics Competition. Gold Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Silver Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Gold Award, Singapore and Asian Schools Math Olympiad 2021. Gold Award, Unicus Olympiad 2021. Silver Award, Vanda International Science Competition. Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad for Primary and Secondary Schools, Science Division. Ariel Victoria L. Encarnacion. Bronze Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad 2020. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Autumn Round. Silver Award, American Mathematics Contest A. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Winter Round. Distinction, International Mathematics Assessment for Schools 2021. Bronze Award, Southeast Asian Mathematical Olympiad 2021. Bronze Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad 2020, Science State Round. Gold Award, Challenge for the Future Mathematicians. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Spring Round. Silver Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Ian Gabriel Lagok, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Maria Bernadette M. Landicho, Bronze Award, Sipnayan 2020. Distinction, 2020 Australian Mathematics Competition. Bronze Award, International Junior Mathematics Olympiad 2020. Second place, Math League 2021 National Eliminations. 
Second place, Math League 2021 National Championship. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Winter Round. Gold Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympian. First place, Math League 2021 International Championship. Gold Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympia 2021 Heat Round. Gold Award, Singapore and Asian Schools Math Olympia 2021. Distinction, Kaylee Contest. Champion, Purple Comet Mathemy 2021 Team Category. Distinction, American Mathematics Contest Day. Gold Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Percival Q. Macaranis IV. Silver Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Bronze Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Heat Rounds. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Margaret Correll Malabanan. Bronze Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Merit, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Academic Competition Winners, Grade 9 Christian Caleb A. Austria Bronze Award, Main Presentation Count Bronze Award, Preliminary Study Presentation 12 Online ASEAN Student Camp and Teacher Workshop for the Gifted in Science Jana Micaela Bendo Bronze Award, Southeast Asian Math Olympiad 2020 Gold Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round Silver Award 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad Heat Rounds. Gold Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Top 22 Qualifier, Calabarzon, 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad, PMO. Andre Gerald Dawe, Silver Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round. Alexa Amaya L. Dimapilis. Bronze Award, Sipnayan 2020. Bronze Award, 2020 International Mathematics Open for Young Achievers. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Juan Rafael M. Landicho. Bronze Award, Sipnayan 2020. Distinction, 2020 Australian Mathematics Competition. Bronze Award, International Junior Mathematics Olympiad 2020. First place, Math League 2021 National Eliminations. Second place, Math League 2021 National Championship. Top 22 Qualifier, Calabarzon, 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Winter Round. Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Gold Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Fourth place, Math League 2021 International Championship. Gold Award, Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad 2021 Heat Round. Silver Award, Singapore Nation Schools Math Olympiad 2021. Champion, Karibokan Tuktok General Information Crispy. Champion, Purple Comet Math Me 2021 Team Category. Champion, Patalasan Lahi 2021 Quiz Show Competition. Distinction, Kaylee Contest. Distinction, American Mathematics Contest A. Adrian Joren Lantin. Bronze Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiads for Primary and Secondary Schools Mathematics Division. Bronze Award, Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Bronze Award, 2020 International Mathematics Open for Young Achievers. Bronze Award, International Mathematics Wizard Challenge 2020. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Bronze Award, a Challenge for the Future Mathematicians. Silver Award, 2020, Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Heat Rounds. Kareel Angela Polencia, Bronze Award, Main Presentation Count. Bronze Award, Preliminary Study Presentation. 12th Online ASEAN Student Camp and Teacher Workshop for the Gifted in Science. Bea Therese Sugita, 2nd place, 2020 Batangas Province Inner High School Academic Skills and Cultural Competitions, Essay Writer. Vigor Amil Templo, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Edabuen Daryl Untalan, 2nd place, UP Manila, The Aurum Online Press Conference, Science Feature Writing Filipino. 2nd place, 17th World Talk Philippines. 
Jones, feature writing for the Pino. Jeff Bryan Value, Bronze Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiad 2020, Mathematics. Academic Competition Winners, Grade 10. Jester Jude Atienza, Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Adeline Beatriz Berlaza, 2nd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, feature writing English. Jose Gabriel A. Cruz, Champion, Karibok and Tuktok General Information Quiz B. Champion, Pata Lahi 2021 Quiz Show Competition. Isarich Denise Galido, Bronze Award, Main Presentation Count. Bronze Award, Preliminary Study Presentation. 12th Online ASEAN Student Camp and Teacher Workshop for the Gifted in Science. Pierre Alexis Pagsinohin, 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Sports Writing English. Sean Lendl Ranieses, 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Feature Writing English. 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Science Writing English. Ethan Lestat Yongsan. Bronze Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiads for Primary and Secondary Schools, Mathematics Division. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders, Autumn Round. Top 22 Qualifier, Calabarzon, 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. Champion, Karibok Antoktok General Information Quiz B. Gold Award, Vanda International Science Competition. Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Champion, Patalasan Lahi 2021 Quiz Show Competition. Bronze Award, Preliminary Study Presentation and Main Presentation Camp. 12th Online ASEAN Student Camp and Teacher Workshop for the Gifted in Science. Micaela Isabel Valdez, Silver Award, Sipnayan 2020. Bronze Award, Southeast Asian Math Olympiad 2020. Silver Award, Asian Science and Math Olympiads for Primary and Secondary Schools Mathematics Division. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Autumn Round. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Winter Round. Bronze Award, Southeast Asian Math Olympiad 2021. Third place, Asian Science and Math Olympiad for Primary and Secondary Schools, Mathematics Division Final Round. Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Gold Award, 2021 Philippine International Math Olympiad. Bronze Award, Mathematics Without Borders Spring Round. Top 2, International Qualifier 2021 International Mathematics Model and Competition, National Eliminations. Gold Award, Vanda International Science Competition. Academic Competition Winners, Grade 11. Arvin Jason Arenas, Top 2, International Qualifier 2021 International Mathematics Model and Competition, National Eliminations. John Raven Kaduya, Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Christian B. Concordia, Bronze Award, Sipnayan 2020. Top 22 Qualifier, Calabarzon, 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Silver Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Yosef Christian M. Cuenca, first place, best infographic, best presenter, Chain Reaction 2021. Mark Raniel Orqueto, Gold Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Top 2, International Qualifier, 2021 International Mathematics Modeling Competition, National Eliminations. Second place, Regional Chemistry Olympia 2021. Silver Award, Philippine National Chemistry Olympian 2021. Second place, UP Manila, The Orem Online Press Conference, Science Editorial Writing English. Third runner up, Ateneo Chemistry Olympian 2021. Third place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Science Writing English. John Regulus Michael A. Dipasupil, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Top 2 International Qualifier 2021 International Mathematics Modeling Competition National Eliminations 3rd place 17th World Cup Philippines News Writing English Ray Matthew Lat 
Honorable Mention, 17th World Cup Philippines, Editorial Writing English. John Joseph S. Liwa, 3rd place, Regional Chemistry Olympia 2021. Bronze Award, Philippine National Chemistry Olympia 2021. Third runner up, Ateneo Chemistry Olympia 2021. Andre Ricardo O. Liza, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Emil Jan Liagas, First runner up, Karibok ang Toktok Pagsulat ng Senaysay. Third place, UP Manila, The Orem Online Press Conference, Science News Writing English. Third place, 17th World Cup Philippines, News Writing English. Third place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Editorial Writing English. Angel A. Lopez, second place, 2020 Batangas Province Inter High School Academic Skills and Cultural Competitions, Declamation. Maria Loris Magada, second place, 17th World Cup Philippines, News Writing English. Alisa Kyle Marie Manai, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Alisa Sean Plata, 4th place, UP Manila The Aram Online Press Conference, Science Feature Writing English. 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Feature Writing English. 2nd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Science Writing English. Academic Competition Winners, Grade 12. Christina Isabel Almario, 2nd place, Chain Reaction 2021, 6th Science Investigation Project Competition, Applied Science Category. Shallow Joyce P. Ando, 1st place, Chain Reaction 2021, 6th Science Investigation Project Competition, Applied Science Category. Samantha Marie Ernesto, Top 10 Finalist, Most Innovative Award, UPETC Youth in Action, Youth in Times of Crisis, Case Study Competition. Juliana May Bautista, 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, News Writing Filipino. Ken Andre S. Bellarmino, Bronze Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Rainier Edward C. Bolima, 1st place, UP Manila, The Orem Online Press Conference, Science Feature Writing English. 3rd place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Editorial Writing English. Julian Luis Bonza. First place, Best Infographic, Best Presenter, Chain Reaction 2021. Alan Gabriel S. Capini, first place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Sports Writing English. Kurt Neil Cueto, Bronze Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad Heat Rounds. Silver Award, Hong Kong International Science Olympiad. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Art Gabriel T. Dimapilis, Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Maria Charisma Australia, first place, 17th World Cup Philippines Science Writing English. Best Presenter Award, Research Fair 2021, De La Salle University Dasmarinas High School. Louis Matthew Flores, 1st place, Best Visual Layout, Chain Reaction 2021, 6th Science Investigation Project, Competition, Life Science Category. Alan Dominic Gavica, 1st place, Regional Chemistry Olympia 2021, Silver Award, Philippine National Chemistry Olympia 2021, 3rd runner-up, Ateneo Chemistry Olympia 2021. Arce Heaven Gingin. Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Sofia Isabel Or Laksamana, third place, UP Manila The Aurum Online Press Conference, Science Editorial Writing English. First place, 17th World Cup Philippines Editorial Writing English. Precious Shine Leonoras, first place, Best Infographic, Best Presenter, Chain Reaction 2021, Top 10 Finalists. Most Innovative Award, UPETC Youth in Action, Youth in Times of Crisis Case Study Competition. Alexa Isabel D. Liwag, Silver Award, 
Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Bronze Award, 2020 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Mathematical Olympiad Heat Rounds. Silver Award, Hong Kong International Science Olympiad. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Julian Hans Key Medallia, First Place, Best Infographic, Best Presenter, Chain Reaction 2021. Athena Vega Oliva, first place, best visual layout, chain reaction 2021, science investigation project competition, life science category, third place, 17th World Cup Philippines, editorial writing Filipino, Juan Miguel M. Perez, honorable mention, 17th World Cup Philippines, editorial writing English, Kate Zyreel Plantilia, second place, chain reaction 2021, investigation project competition, Applied Science Category Ricardo Luis Robaro Bronze Award 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest Dane Mitchell Rosales Best Presenter Award Research Fair 2021 De La Salle University Dasmariñas High School Juliana Claire Salayo Honorable Mention 17th World Cup Philippines Editorial Writing English Jose Fernando G. Sanidad, Top 10 Finalist, Most Innovative Award. UPETC Youth in Action, Youth in Times of Crisis Case Study Competition. Tana Jelana Sullivan, First Place, Chain Reaction 2021, Investigation Project Competition, Applied Science Category. Mars Frederick Songko, Third Place, 17th World Cup Philippines, Sport Writing English. Vivian S. Santa Ana, Best Presenter Award, Research Fair 2021, De La Salle University, Dasmariñas High School. Rafael Maria Vicente Tagulao, Top 22 Qualifier, Calabarzon, 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. Silver Award, 2021 International Kangaroo Math Contest. Bronze Award, 2021 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Second Place, Chain Reaction 2021. Sixth Science Investigation Project Competition, Applied Science Category. Maureen May C. Tolfo, First Place, Best Visual Layout, Chain Reaction 2021, Science Investigation Project Competition, Life Science Category. The Student Alliance Leadership Achievement Award is presented to students for their active leadership role as Student Alliance Officer during the school year 2020 to 2021. Shayna Yunis Bentihaba. Giamad Paolo Gala Francesca Mia Hernandez Job Carson Lisboa Emmanuel A. Ceribo Alexa Amaya L. Dimapilis Joanna Eliza Estillero V.L. Kirsten Camille Sagin Adeline Beatriz Borlaza Karil Andre Cueto Sean Lendl Raneses Ivan G. Estrada Angel A. Lopez Gideon Knight Miras Edsel Paul Calzeta Precious Shine Leonoras Gerard Matthew Lita The Student Alliance Leadership Excellence Award is presented to students for their unwavering commitment and excellence in carrying out a leadership role as a Student Alliance Officer during the school year 2020 to 2021. Julian Hans Medalia. Jose Fernando Sanidad. Kate Zyreel Plantilia. Julian Luis Bonza. John Andre Isidro Fiona O. De Castro Herman Yanko L. Atienza 
Angelica Nicole Maraan Harvey C. De La Cruz Bernice M. Villa del Rey Grade 7 Angelic Faye Abayari First and Second Quarter Jamila Daphne Aceveda First to Fourth Quarter Sofia D. Agvito Fourth Quarter Maria Vanessa Alegata First to Fourth Quarter Juliana Cassandra Alguire, first to fourth quarter. Alonzo Alvarez, first to fourth quarter. Andres Arauz, first to third quarter. Ashton Francis Argente, first to fourth quarter. Aiko Isabel Asuncion, 1st, 2nd, and 4th quarter. Julian Manuel Austria, 2nd to 4th quarter. Antea Janelle Bassi, 1st to 4th quarter. Maya A. Bautista, 1st to 4th quarter. Angelica Joyce Velia, first to fourth quarter. Juan Miguel Bendo, fourth quarter. Audrey Marielle Bergantinos, first to fourth quarter. Nathan Joseph Daniel Borlas, second and third quarter. Carl Daniel Braun. First to fourth quarter. Ira M. Hailes. First to fourth quarter. Sky N. Cartano. First to fourth quarter. Erin Ann Casau. Second to fourth quarter. Evane Miles Castera. First to fourth quarter. Franz Jewel Castillo, first to fourth quarter. Francis Ian Oliver Corachea, second to fourth quarter. Marlon Caleb Corda, first to fourth quarter. Sean Radley Corpus, first, second, and third quarter. Princel Shifra Cortez, first to fourth quarter. Gian Marini Cueto, first to fourth quarter. Hannah Sophie Danila, first to fourth quarter. Gabriel Angelo De Jesus, first to fourth quarter. Mikhail Andrea De Los Reyes. First to third quarter. Maria Leandra Deza. Second to fourth quarter. Enya Dice. First to fourth quarter. Mark Christian Digal. First to fourth quarter. Maria Francesca M. Endozo. Second to fourth quarter. Rance Cedric Espeleta. First and second quarter. Naomi Angela M. Espinas. Second to fourth quarter. Reuben Joseph Felix. First to fourth quarter. Luis Keith Fernandez. First to fourth quarter. Veronica L. Fisalboy, first to fourth quarter. Renzo Miguel Forniloza, first to fourth quarter. 
Joaquin Carlo Lorenzo D. Fuentebella, first to fourth quarter. Hannah Gabriel Garcia, first to fourth quarter. Juliana Lindsay Garcia, first to fourth quarter. Janina Antoinette Generoso, first to fourth quarter. Adam Joshua Gilbuena, first to fourth quarter. Aaron Noel M. Hernandez, first to fourth quarter. Shelbyson Ilagan, fourth quarter. Alessandra Leon Liza, first quarter. Erica Bianca D. Magojos, second to fourth quarter. Ronald Bryal Maliksi, second and fourth quarter. Jayan Matthew L. Manalo, first, second, and fourth quarter. Aisha Amber Mendoza. First to fourth quarter. Iris Miguel Zedrick S. Mendoza. Second and third quarter. Kevin Gabriel Mercado. First to fourth quarter. John Yearn Matthew Onyate. First to fourth quarter. Liam Gabriel Palikpi. First to fourth quarter. Raver Ulysses Paris. Second quarter. Keith Daniel B. Punzalan. First to fourth quarter. Caitlin Gale Rocha. First to fourth quarter. Alejandro Mikel Rodriguez. Second quarter. Regina Coeli Roque, first to fourth quarter. Bianca Audrey R. Rosana, first to fourth quarter. Vrail Wisdom Salcedo, first and second quarter. Sofia Nicole Samile, first to fourth quarter. Julian Rafael Tavita, First to fourth quarter. Justin Aaron Tolentino. First and third quarter. Keen Emmanuel Angelo Velasco. Third and fourth quarter. Charles Xander Velasquez. First to fourth quarter. Mark Jacob Viernes. First to fourth quarter. Princess Leanne Zafra. First to fourth quarter. Directors list. Grade A. Don Christian Abuta. Fourth quarter. Margot Kristen Aguila. Second to fourth quarter. Samantha Grace Andan, first to fourth quarter. Wilbur Sean Anterola, second to fourth quarter. Lauren Orbatan, fourth quarter. John Denver Bichaida, first to fourth quarter. Shayna Eunice Bentehaba, first to fourth quarter. Ilaya Anidi Sedano, fourth quarter. Jet Paul Henry Claveria, first quarter. Gabriel Simon Dalang, first and second quarter. Ashtana Riley Dahan, first to fourth quarter. Jeanette Zara Dayo, first to fourth quarter. Lawrence Roy De Chavez, 
first to fourth quarter. Maxine Rose de los Reyes, first to fourth quarter. Sheena Francesca Duenas, first to fourth quarter. Ariel Victoria Incarnacion, first to fourth quarter. John Randall A. Fortus, first to fourth quarter. Giomad Paolo Gala, first to fourth quarter. Angelica Jimena, first to fourth quarter. Nathan Dominic Gondra, first to fourth quarter. Francesca Mia Hernandez, third and fourth quarter. Marichelle Hernandez, first quarter. Albert Gian G. Idelfonso, second quarter. Ian Gabriel Lago, first to fourth quarter. Maria Bernadette Landicho, first to fourth quarter. Alia Mariam Lati. Third and fourth quarter. Catherine Lial. First, second, and fourth quarter. Jacob Keen Lontok. First, third, and fourth quarter. Gabriela Isabel Lopez. Third and fourth quarter. Christine Chelsea Mambo, fourth quarter. Alvin Simon Makarai, fourth quarter. Percival the fourth Macaranes, first to fourth quarter. Margaret Corel Malabana, first to fourth quarter. Zach P. Malto. First to fourth quarter. Matthew Luis Mampusti. First and fourth quarter. Ethan Wesley Marasigan. First to fourth quarter. Miguel Carlo Mercado. First to fourth quarter. Miguel Morales. Second, third, and fourth quarter. Eliana Catarina Morin. Second to fourth quarter. Tanya Naomi Nuestro. First, second, and fourth quarter. Justin V. Odia. Third and fourth quarter. Denessa Ray Angela Palconi. Fourth quarter. Luke Edward Tamanibay. First quarter. Micaela or Pasqua. First, second, third, and fourth quarter. Alfonso Vicente Marcelo L. Perez. First to fourth quarter. Michelle Beatriz Privandos. First and second quarter. Kurt Daryl Quinto, fourth quarter. John Lawrence Ramirez, first to fourth quarter. Gabriel Cyan A. Reyes, fourth quarter. Mark Isaac Ruba, third quarter. Kent Hudson Salvation. First and fourth quarter. Guiana Saputil. First to fourth quarter. Rosa Isabel Sebastian. First to fourth quarter. James Andre Lee Soliman. First to fourth quarter. Crystalline Josa Vidal. 
second and third quarter. Yeshua Samuel Villar, fourth quarter. Director's list, grade nine. Andrea Marie Acable, first to fourth quarter. Kirsten Gabriel Almario, first, second, and fourth quarter. Von Jarek Aquino, third and fourth quarter. Mary Sophie Adelaide Arago, first to fourth quarter. Frances Azinit Araneta, first to fourth quarter. Christian Arganyosa, first to fourth quarter. Joseph Lisander Atibagos, second, third, and fourth quarter. Christian Caleb Austria, first to fourth quarter. Jana Micaela Bendo, third and fourth quarter. Gerard James Bolo. Second to fourth quarter. Mark Joel Isaac Borlas. First to fourth quarter. Arian Mist Borlasa. First to fourth quarter. Elise Raylin Braga. First to fourth quarter. Angel Lana Lane Burgos. First to fourth quarter. Isa Valerie Casayura. First to fourth quarter. Kirsten Angelica Catapa. First, second, and third quarter. Emmanuel Cerebo. First to fourth quarter. Gary Paulus Miguel Coronado. First to fourth quarter. Carl Aldrich Queto. Third and fourth quarter. Reniel Ken Dagohok. Second to fourth quarter. Pierre Allen Dating Ginoo. First to fourth quarter. Andre Gerald Dawe. First to fourth quarter. Ian Charles De Castro, first to fourth quarter. Lance Renzo De Chavez, fourth quarter. Miguel Joaquin De Guzman, second, third, and fourth quarter. Ella Joy Dilan, first to fourth quarter. Rinaldi Cray De Maculangan. Third and fourth quarter. Amaya Dimapilis. Third and fourth quarter. Joanna Eliza Estaliero. Second to fourth quarter. James Andrew Nicolas Gachalian. Second to fourth quarter. Jamie Lee Ann General. Fourth quarter. Lawrence Kristen Gonzaga, second to fourth quarter. Vince Germain Ilagan, first to fourth quarter. Leandro Jose Ladia, first to fourth quarter. Juan Rafael M. Landicho, first to fourth quarter. Jen April Erin Liza, second to fourth quarter. Bettina Maris Magiba, first to fourth quarter. Riza Ann Magibay, first to fourth quarter. Gian Benedict Malabana, third quarter. Emil Gerard Malabana. First and second quarter. Isabel Manalo. 
first to fourth order. Ira Bernice Marbibi, first, third, and fourth order. Janine Ashley Moreno, first to fourth order. Karil Angela Opolensha, first to fourth order. Vince Christian Panganiban, first to fourth order. Francine Amor Reyes, first, second, and fourth order. The Elk Christian Camille Sagi, fourth order. Luis Miguel Santos, fourth quarter. Arabella Clarissa Sayat, first to fourth quarter. Bea Therese Sugitan, first to fourth quarter. Rovin Matthew Stolentino, fourth quarter. Craig Johan Torres, 4th quarter. Eda Buendaril Untalan, 1st to 4th quarter. Jared Daniel Orea, 1st to 4th quarter. Rachel Andrea Valderrama, 2nd to 4th quarter. Jeff Brian Valle, 1st to 4th Fourth quarter. Maria Beatriz Vidal, first to fourth quarter. Grishani Villanueva, second to fourth quarter. Grade 10. Adam Yel Anito, fourth quarter. Kim Luigi Apasionado, 1st to 4th quarter. Yeshua Gabriel Espera, 1st to 4th quarter. Jester Jude Atienza, 3rd and 4th quarter. William Harold Balba, 1st, 2nd, and 4th quarter. Anne Regina Banaa. Fourth quarter. Son Isaac Budak. First to fourth quarter. George Marie Cabrera. Third and fourth quarter. Chini May Ann Cabuslai. First to fourth quarter. Rayburn Katakis. First to fourth quarter. Bea Margaret Claveria, 2nd to 4th quarter. Jose Gabriel Cruz, 3rd and 4th quarter. Karil Andre Cueto, 1st to 4th quarter. Harvey C. De La Cruz, 1st to 4th quarter. Lina Lumari Echanis, 1st to 4th quarter. Isaiah Philip Escueta, 4th quarter. Aaron Cedric Australia, 2nd to 4th quarter. Joanna Daniela Fajardo, 1st to 4th quarter. Alfonso Gabriel Perel, 4th quarter. Isarich Denise Galido, 1st to 4th quarter. Denise Abigail Garcia, 2nd to 4th quarter. Giselle Hernandez, 1st quarter. Rafaelito Antonio Ite, 1st to 4th quarter. Roland James Lainez, 1st to 4th quarter. Malkiel Josiah Mabaga, 
first, second, and fourth quarter. Antonio Magpantay, first to fourth quarter. Angelo Roswell Magsino, first to fourth quarter. Angela Nicole Maraan, first to fourth quarter. Ian Bernard Marbibi, second to fourth quarter. Mary Angeli Josette Mendoza, first to fourth quarter. Gien Zenith Monteverhen, first, second, and fourth quarter. Marcella Sharel Napa, first to fourth quarter. Ricardo Juan Miguel Navarro, first to fourth quarter. Jenna Sofia Obrero, first to fourth quarter. Maria Gabriel Chiore, third and fourth quarter. Sean Lendel Ranieses, first to fourth quarter. Julian Samantha K. Razo, third and fourth quarter. Paulo Lorenzo Sebastian, first, second, and third quarter. Samuel Jonathan Shangyu, third and fourth quarter. Mark Angelo Silo, second to fourth quarter. Maria Hanna Isabel Sugida, first to fourth quarter. Benedict Troy Taras, third and fourth quarter. Ethan Lestat Tiongsa, grade 11. Liam Audrey Alieda, first to fourth quarter. Lawrence Kerwin Amar, fourth quarter. Kimbert Apolito. First to fourth quarter. Arvin Jason Arenas. First to fourth quarter. Arnel Marie Ariate. First to fourth quarter. Herman Yanko Atienza. Third and fourth quarter. Kathleen Joyce Austria. First to fourth quarter. Alessandra Nicole Baldovino, 4th quarter. Alexander A. Banyados, 1st to 4th quarter. Laura Elizabetha Bautista, 2nd quarter. Chanda Althea Belga, 4th quarter. Denise A. Benavente, 1st to 4th quarter. Pearl Gabriel Budioman, 1st to 4th quarter. Angelica Janelle Bustos, 1st, 3rd, and 4th quarter. Mel Zorina Caballes, 1st to 4th quarter. John Howard Niles Cantos, 1st to 4th quarter. Kim Lawrence Carvajal, 4th quarter. Joseph Christian Cuenca, 1st to 4th quarter. Mark Raniel Cueto, 1st to 4th quarter. Althea Nikki Dimaculaman, first quarter. Iris Nell Dipala, first to fourth quarter. John Regulus Michael Diposupil, first to fourth quarter. Annika Marie Domondon, first, third, and fourth quarter. Ivan G. Estrada. First to fourth quarter. 
Mary Jane South Australia, first to fourth quarter. Jesusa Gwyneth Francesca Ferrer, first to fourth quarter. Miguel Carlo Antonio Fuentebello, first to fourth quarter. Jamaica Allen Garcia, first to fourth quarter. Amina Haveliana, first to fourth quarter. Basil Lawrence Lamos, fourth quarter. Dwayne Ira Laraño, third quarter. Ray Matthew Lott, second, third, and fourth quarter. Ezekiel Liat, second, third, and fourth quarter. Dean Angelo Leretana, third and fourth quarter. John Joseph Liwa, first to fourth quarter. Andre Ricardo Lisa. First to fourth quarter. Angel Lopez. First to fourth quarter. Maria Loriz Magada. First to fourth quarter. Christiana Fatima Malabana. First to fourth quarter. Alisa Kyle Marie Manai. First to fourth quarter. James Winsel Marine, first to fourth quarter. Nisa Andrea Nokon, first to fourth quarter. Ramesses D. Paloyo, first to fourth quarter. Jamie Marine Panganiba, third and fourth quarter. Alisa Sean Plata. First to fourth quarter. John Lloyd Ramirez, fourth quarter. Flaubert Trangaza, first to fourth quarter. Celine Lourdes Rosales, first to fourth quarter. Lara Elaine Salcedo. First and second quarter. Winfrey Saludares. First to fourth quarter. Kurt Princip Gabriel Somalio. First quarter. Christian Daniel Valeriano. First to fourth quarter. Gabriel Angelo Villa. First to fourth quarter. Bernice M. Villa del Rey, first to fourth quarter. Mark Bernard Angelo Villena, first to fourth quarter. Grade 12. Mia Angelica Agudo, first to fourth quarter. Christina Isabel Almario, first to fourth quarter. Ralph Calvin Almazan, third quarter. Shello Joyce Ando, second and fourth quarter. Vincent Arellano, first to fourth quarter. Samantha Marie Arnesto, first to fourth quarter. Juliana May Bautista, first to fourth quarter. Jam Omar Biscocho, first to fourth quarter. Rainier Edward Bolima, first to fourth quarter. Julian Luis Bonza, first, second, and third quarter. Miguel Joseph Bustos, first to fourth quarter. Edsel Paul Calzeta. First to fourth quarter. John Henry Casal. Third and fourth quarter. 
Aero John Cerezo, 1st to 4th quarter. Kurt Neil Cueto, 1st to 4th quarter. Cristana Daniel David, 1st to 4th quarter. Fiona O. De Castro, 1st to 4th quarter. Matthew Alexander De Villa, 1st to 4th quarter. Angela Nicole De Niega, 1st and 3rd quarter. Charlene P. Domingo, 3rd and 4th quarter. Charisma P. Australia, 1st to 4th quarter. Frances Felicity Felicen, 1st, 3rd, and 4th quarter. Luis Matthew Flores, 1st to 4th quarter. Alan Dominic Gavica, 1st quarter. Rowan Philip Guia, 1st to 4th quarter. Arce Heaven Dingin, 1st to 4th quarter. John Andre Isidro, 1st to 4th quarter. Rona May Halothot, 2nd to 4th quarter. Gian Miguel Hobo, 2nd to 4th quarter. Maria Sofia Isabel Lassi, 1st to 4th quarter. Precious Shine Leonoras. 1st to 4th quarter. Laura Patrice Lira. 1st to 4th quarter. Gerard Matthew Lita. 1st to 4th quarter. Matthew Daniel C. Lolba. 1st to 4th quarter. Ariel D. Lavinia. 1st to 4th quarter. Alisa Valerie Lu, 1st to 4th quarter. Kyla Marie Mangia, 1st to 4th quarter. Liara Manuel, 3rd and 4th quarter. Athena Vega Oliva, 2nd, 3rd and 4th quarter. Feed Aina Ornedo. 1st to 4th quarter. Juan Miguel M. Perez. 1st to 4th quarter. Kate Zyril Plantilla. 1st to 4th quarter. Ramnick Francis Ramos. 1st to 4th quarter. Ricardo Luis Robaro. 1st to 4th quarter. Diana H. Rosal, 2nd quarter. Dane Mitchell Rosales, 1st to 4th quarter. Jose Fernando G. Sanidad, 1st to 4th quarter. Tana Gilana Sullivan, 1st to 4th quarter. Mars Frederick Songko, 1st to 4th quarter. Joaquin Andres Soriano, 2nd to 4th quarter. Vivian S. Santa Ana, 1st to 4th quarter. Rafael Maria Vicente Tagulao, 1st to 4th quarter. Stephanie Isabel M. Talanya, 4th quarter. King Harvey Tan, 4th quarter. Michael Angelo C. Tolentino, 1st to 4th quarter. Maureen May C. Tolfo, 1st to 4th quarter. Richard Francis R. Torres, 1st to 4th quarter. 
Alfonso R. Trilliana, 1st to 4th quarter. Marvin Kyle D. Trinos, 1st to 4th quarter. Alvin Josh T. Valenciano, 1st to 4th quarter. Marielle Orea M. Villafranca, 1st to 4th quarter. Congratulations and thank you everyone for your sustained passion for excellence and leadership. We hope to continue welcoming the brightest and most passionate students to this time. In line with this goal, we proudly present to you an EVP that details the requirements for taking the National Competitive Examination.
To officially end our program today, let's welcome the Chief of the Student Services Division, Mr. George Job. His remarks will be followed by the singing of the PSHS. Good morning. So I need to congratulate you for finishing this school year. You never allow a pandemic to dictate the education that you need to have. You did not allow a pandemic to limit the learnings that you can have within the four corners of your living room, your bedroom, or maybe along the stairs of your house. You did not allow the limits of the learning rights to somehow dictate the kind of skills and knowledge that you should have during this school year during the pandemic. You showed resilience. You showed perseverance. And because of that, you need the congratulations that the school is providing you now. You need the award, regardless of whether it is a certificate or a medal. You need to award yourselves because you have survived and you have learned the difference between working in school and working at your own pace. And you are the first class to know the difference between what distance education is and what face-to-face -face education is. And that difference will somehow enlighten and strengthen you as you face the opening of the doors to a new and better normal after this pandemic. Again, congratulations. Again, congratulations everyone. This has been Toast to Excellence 2021.